but pop, pop a balloon. But the truth is, like you, you know, you might be claustrophobic or have a whatever nervousness, but you're looking out this viewport, and you're like at the bottom of the ocean, and you, it's hard to not just be kind of focused on that. Did you get some special safety training? Uh, there, yeah, you definitely get a, a briefing on kind of what you need to do, but it's not special, like, you know. No muster drill. Well, no, they do, they do all the all the safety training. In fact, they <laughs> like show you where the the instructions are in <laughs> case the pilot becomes incapacitated. <laughs> Like, please do not wow. become incapacitated. Adam, Adam, do you have interest in going closer up to the ridge it's crest here, it's getting off the slope? Are we getting off to the side? Yeah. Yeah, if we can, yeah, the next ship move, maybe uh, yeah, we're getting close a little to the bit next one. north. North. Oh, look, yeah, so are you aiming for that uh, waypoint there rather? Um, no, not, no, not particularly. Just kind of coming off the steep bit and... Um, seems like the ridge crest on the bathymetric map versus what we're actually seeing are not lining up. Um, I don't know about that. It, we're, we're in the, we're, yeah, we're, I mean, we're along the side contour. It's a bit, there. it's a bit flat. It's like a general upward. Right. So Argus is kind of facing, there's still more, it, it's still more upward here, but I don't know if it's exactly like a ridge. It kind of seems like it's just like a flat, um, flat slope, but we can go towards the middle of that flat slope, if that's what you're asking. It seemed like the fauna were just um, more dense or up there. They were, well, we were not, we weren't, haven't been up there, really. We were on the, we were on, like, the the side of it and mm -hmm. in the steeper bits here. Like this Yeah, it's going to be very hard from this map to pick out, like, yeah. where this gets super ridgy versus not. Right, but we were at least at that break point where it became less steep and we were seeing the barnacles and the bamboo uh, corals yeah. right yeah i don't know we can we can attempt to find where those are but with but with the resolution of the map i don't know that we'll be able to so but whichever direction you'd like to go to try to acquire that i'm all ears so that's the heading of the the vehicle, so it's kind of pointing in the direction. Hercules is we, heading there now. Yeah, I think we want to go more Sorry, towards. Sorry, can you see it? Some more. I like don't think we want to go way four, over here. Zero five zero, maybe. Or er. zero five zero. Sorry. Can we look at what zero five zero looks like on there? Sure. I was I was I was forced talking to pilots accidentally. Sorry. That's zero five zero. Uh, zero so seven. That's too extreme. That is zero seven. We've been going zero eight and zero seven five. Yeah, I think we want to attack it. Like we don't want to go like end up wag zigzagging up. So kind of like so we'll push try it seven. a little more. Yeah, sure. Zero seven looks good. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Zero seven. So for the viewer asking, the green dots are ten centimeters apart. No, we are not the pun team from last night. We could be, though. Oh, we aren't? <laughs> we weren't working last night. Not here. <laughs> Bridge now. Oh. Damn, I want to be the pun team. <laughs> uh, 100 meters, zero, 070. Zero. Thank you. We are the fun team. Yeah. yeah, we are the fun team. Everyone else is just kind of slowly shaking their heads. <laughs> <laughs> they're not the fun oh, team. they're sleeping. <laughs> Adam, can obsidian or other volcanic glass form in the deep sea? Yes, although not obsidian. So now we're going to get into a super nerdy discussion. Do it. So uh, so <laughs> we're fun and nerdy. Again, yeah. The drones. Um, yeah, so volcanic glass forms when lava cools so quickly that 
the molecules can't come together to make crystals and so it's kind of everything's just kind of disorganized and uh, and so on typical submarine eruptions you definitely always get glass on the outside where the lava hits the water obsidian is cool volcanic glass that doesn't form crystals because the lava is so viscous that the little molecules can't get together to make them very quickly. So you can get obsidian even if you cool pretty slowly, um, but it still ends up as this disorganized solid. Uh, and so I have seen obsidian in the ocean, so it typically forms at volcanoes at subduction zones um, where the composition of of the lava makes it really viscous. It's got a lot of silica in it relative to what we're looking at here. Uh, but it also can form, you know, on, on land even where it's cooling slowly. There's a, and if you get a chance to like hike around uh, an obsidian flow, it's pretty awesome. You have to be careful because it's all glassy, but uh, it's just super cool. So, but it would be altered away here. In theory, would or would we still see? Would yeah, we... no, the, the older the volcanic surface, the less likely you are to see that glass. And, and some of it alters um, to clays, but also it, it's fragile and it kind of falls off the rock with, with time. I went to this really cool rhyolitic glass crop in Chile. Oh, really? Yeah. Beautiful. Whoa. Yeah. What are these white corals we keep seeing? Uh, those are the Ramula Gorgia militaris. Okay. What were you doing in Chile? Oh, it was a grad school trip. So University of Madison, Wisconsin goes on a trip every year for the grad students. Um, and that one was focused on the volca volcanoes in Chile and Argentina. Nice. Is that a holothurian? Yep. So what do you say about Chile? Highly recommend? Yeah, for sure. New Zealand was a better trip, I thought, though. So New Zealand's awesome. Yeah. There's supposed to be a... Every four years, there's a, what I like to call the Volcano Olympics, which is the IAVC uh, meeting. It was supposed to be in New Zealand maybe this year. but North Island or South? Uh, North Island, probably. They have field trips to Taupo. And nice. Was Wait. that the one that was in Hobart a few years back, or is that a different meeting? That no, that was a different meeting. Uh, the last one was in Portland, I think, and it was really cool. They had a, kind of like a they had a concert at the end. So there's a band called Pink Martini, I think it's called. Hmm. Anyway, they played this awesome concert. They played great music from different countries, and when the, some country would play, they'd be like, "Everyone from, you know, Japan, come on up," or "Everyone from Chile." cool for viewers who are tuning in on YouTube if you go to our website you can ask questions we have a chat box there www.nautiluslive.com or dot org not com I mean, I don't like it. Want to zoom yeah. in on this? I do. Is that a holothurian? Ooh, yeah. Oh, that looks like the, the one we collected. It's very it's white. white and sedimented.
Kind of like a transparent potato. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Come back wide. You want to get a little out there, Jake? Transparent Potato would be a good band name. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> should be making all it. about the band names. You should uh, be I'm making a list. You, I, I collect them. <laughs> oh, I have a list. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, you that have a that list. one would be a 60s kind of uh, uh, San Francisco psychedelic band. Name. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Yeah. I'm right yeah. with you. For sure. Mid 60s, 67, 68. What else we have? We have Slit Limpet. Yep. Dark Biosphere. Dark Biosphere. I drove by a rental place in uh, in Anchorage, an equipment rental place, that kind of stuff, and they had a sign out front that said stump grinders Ooh. and car tow dollies. Mm. I said, <laughs> those are both band names. Mm -hmm. What is car tow? What was that one? A car tow dolly. Car tow dolly. A dolly that you park, you put the front wheels of oh. the car onto and then tow it. Car tow dolly. Car tow dollies is an 80s uh, glam band, I think. Wow, you're really good at nailing the genre that these and, babies uh, stump, <laughs> stump grinders is bluegrass. <laughs> nice. That's very good, yeah. It's also a very inconvenient coffee shop. Stump <laughs> grinders? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it would be in Portland. Yeah. Stump, <laughs> Stumptown coffee is good. Mm. Also, when we were looking at that shell hash before, it made me think of something else in Portland. There's a breakfast place called Bijou Cafe that has a oyster hash. Huh. Oh, so good. No shells involved. No shells at all, which huh. I think is a plus. So it's just purely shucked oysters? Is that the... Yeah, kind of like fried oysters, but chopped up with potatoes and other stuff and a couple oh. of eggs, you know. It has been suggested that perhaps we should adopt transparent potato as our watch name. <laughs> <laughs> Is that saying something about how we're working or our commentary? <laughs> or just potatoes? We could all, you know, hold up the transparent potato. <laughs> It's like a glowing orb. <laughs> Dave, were you in a band? Uh, no. Around a band, yes. Um, roadie. Yeah, uh, did a little roadie stuff. Um, did, did some stage stuff, lighting, that kind of stuff. But uh, just hung around. I mean, I started college as a music major. Oh. But mm. more uh, instrumental and orchestral uh, stuff. I played brass. Uh, nice. But I also do play bass guitar uh, and, and did at the time, but just didn't go that direction. So did Jeff. Yeah, uh, so Jeff. Did I. Jeff and I are, uh, are are twin brothers from other mothers. So yeah, oh yeah. Benny, you were in a band, right? I was in a couple bands couple back band. in the day. Yeah. Oh, I hung out with the bands. I <laughs> uh, also fix things, fix amplifiers, fix guitars, modify amplifiers, modify guitars, mm. revise tube station stages and amplifiers, that kind of stuff. I was, the, I was the tech guy. Was this in the, like, Seattle area, or? Yeah, I grew up in the south end of Seattle, and uh, was high school bands and that kind of stuff. But then I moved to Anchorage, uh, and I had a lot of musician friends, and uh, I did uh, repairs on. Uh, did you ever see stuff. the Sonics? Did you know that band? The Sonics, no. Oh, man. They were cool. I was in a polka band. 
Nice. What? <laughs> really? Did yes. you play accordion? No. no. I played the flute and accessory percussion. And we all had to sing. Nice. In wow. German. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Even it's cooler. Another Holotherian. <laughs> Two. Two. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Well, I'm a tuba player, so uh, playing uh, in a polka band is just like the best thing. Yeah. Next to being good tuba parts. Next to being in a Dixieland. Band. I'm gonna zoom in here, Dave. Mm. Okay. Kind of looks like a centipede. Yeah. A very slow one. Very slow centipede. When I was in high school, I started my own Dixieland band. Other guys that was in high school and arranged music. All right, come, come forward. What's our next uh, depth for a rock sample? Two, five, something, something. Two, five, <laughs> six, eight. Fish. Okay, quick zoom on this, this guy. Papahanaumokuakea is where we saw the gulper eel oh. a few years back, that, and that was just the coolest thing. Did it have its mouth open? It. I don't know if you've seen the video, but it, it was the big bulbous mouth, like the full mouth, and yeah. then it closed it. It was, I don't know, I think it might have been the first time that's been filmed. Wow. Mm. And it, like, so it opened its jaws and then tucked it away, and it just looked like a normal fish like that afterwards. Oh, really? It was so strange. Yeah, that highlight video is on the website if you, for anyone who hasn't seen it, and it's spectacular. Everyone was just like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a cool sponge. That looks yeah. like the type that we've been seeing the, uh, yeah, the, the old ones. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, gorgeous. This one looks much healthier, yeah. I'm gonna zoom in there, Dave. There's some sort of associate or something. That is a s hydroid, I think. Oh, one little Dr. Seussian thing yeah. mm -hmm. on top of it. I, I, I could be, I could have that wrong. No, I think you're right. Drake. All right. <laughs> the texture on that sponge looks just like the one on the, mm. the old one that we collected. Get up, get a little bit up ahead. Time to bogey. Um, do we want to continue on the zero seven zero zero move? That'll be a. Uh, where is that? Like right here? 
Um, yeah, I think we do one more move like that and then take stock. Okay. Like the stock of a sponge. Oh. We're the pun watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're back. Self We're back. Pun watch. <laughs> See, we told you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's conductor of this hype train tonight? <laughs> yeah. Take stock. The distance between the two green dots is 10 centimeters. Bridge nav. One more step, 100 meters, zero, 070. Zero. Zero, 070. Zero. Thank you. Here's a good band name suggestion, the carnivorous sponges. Oh, oh that is a good one. <laughs> And of course, Metalligorgia. That'd be a good band. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to play metal. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Speed metal. Metalligorgia, yeah. Are they the one with the snake stars associates? No. They, they do have a, a, a brittle star associate. I just don't know what, the, what it is. Darn, because snake stars would sound Metalligorgia and the snake stars. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see what you're doing there, Lisa. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> this is a different sponge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that stalk. Yeah, it's weird. This sponge looks like a poached egg yeah. when you first drop it in. This is the problem when you don't have biologists on watch. We will call it the poached egg sponge. <laughs> <laughs> you want to zoom in on this guy, Dave? Look at that little star wrapped around it. What a weird thing. Wow, that stalk. Yeah. The stalk is wicked. Anything in the IDs back there, Sarah? Watch your porch there. Um, No. I will continue to look, though. Or I'll make Adam look. Yeah. Is everybody sleeping? Spectacular. <laughs> Super cool. Cool. Has holes wow. in the bottom and That's striations so cool. on top. It's so strange. I imagine that would just provided more structure, strength. Mm. It's like the honeycomb structure that you see out in nature. Always, it almost yeah. looks like a like a muscular fiber. Like yeah, like that, that strands. Oh, well, I guess you, yeah. There you go, get ahead soon. Yep. All right. Come back wide.
So that must mean that it's if it if it were to be like somehow reinforced along that longitudinal axis, then that means that that has to withstand a lot of tension, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, just maybe that it can support a larger head in this yeah. way. Huh. That was some nice flying, Jake. Yeah. yeah. Great job. Nice. We are unable to find anything like that in the guide. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've seen anything like that before. Nope. Very cool. It does resemble some of the Eurydidae, Yurid hmm. but nothing that looks exactly like that. Looks like uh, is this layers of sheet flow again and then sediment over? Sediment on top of it? Or do we think that it's manganese? I think it's manganese. Mm. Yeah. I think that those little micro nodules eventually merge together into a sheet. Very cool. No ripples like we were seeing in other places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, according to my initial theory of currents always going in one direction, um, we should be in kind of the lee side of the seamount, but yesterday we had the currents going in the opposite direction, so I'm not sure. What do you got right now for current? Uh, not much. So it's I'm coming from your top yeah. left there, right? So your headings yeah, zero four five. So that's like again, yeah. kind of west to yeah. east, yeah. It's, it's like a northwest to southeast. It's pretty slight though. Yeah. Adam, how about a sediment question? Go for it. Viewer ask, are there ever sediment channels like a river on the seamounts, and would they contain minerals or heavy metals? Like, um, yeah. So, what's that sponge there? Want to zoom in there, Dave? Yeah, quick. It's nice one of those mucus funnels. Oh. Yeah. Nice hammock. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, there's something inside. Or is that our shadow? Oh, no, it's rippling. That's our shadow. Yeah, it's like getting caught in the wash. Undulating. So I would say that it's unlikely that there would be something you'd really identify as right, like a wood. channel. But there's definitely downslope transport of sediment. Um, and... You know, we're kind of wondering if some of those micro nodules go down slope, and in which case there would be some sort of placer deposit, you know, for lack of a better word. Um, but there's not consistent flow like a river channel, although you do get things like that on okay. coastal <laughs> or continental shelves, you know, like you get, uh, and even on the the shelves of, or the flanks of these islands, um, you do get river channels that that form. But uh, here, I think there's kind of within a mass of water that doesn't have a lot of differences in density. So getting water to push sediment downhill is probably not going to happen. But currents that move by might push sediment around. Uh, probably not in a real consistent direction or location. Great, thanks. Stocked gradually? Yeah. Yeah. Megan said they were seeing a lot of these yellow ones earlier in the, in the watch before ours. We passed through that small region where we saw a lot more coral diversity, but now it's back to... Vermilion yeah, we Georgia. were kind of on the edge of that steeper slope. Now we're getting into a more flat terrain. wonder if that had to do with it. Is that predation? Sea star? Take a look at that. Okay, you guys remember that sea star last night? That I was just saying, you guys were traumatized by this event last oh, night. So weird. <laughs> Tried to forget. <laughs> there was so much going on. Definitely seared into our memory. <laughs> Zoom in there, Dave. It's a sponge or a tunicate to the left, too. Oh, yeah. Or, or a mucus. Ooh. Oh, ooh, oh God, that's just really just. I feel like I walked in on something. <laughs> so that's a whip coral? Is that what we call those? Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. Those polyps, though, I mean. Juicy. I wonder if that's a. I think it's from known. No, I was thinking that they looked like zoanthids, but oh. I don't think that that's true. I think that they're just funny looking. Looks like it's somebody lost their AirPod here. back there. <laughs> their <laughs> AirPod. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, come back, bud. Sediment. Yeah, a whole lot of sediment. Yeah. yeah. 
have a question about whether the ROVs have ever been equipped with hydrophones. And I think the answer is that the ROV is too loud, right? Yeah, yeah, super loud. But there's been a lot of hydrophone questions. I wonder if there's like, yeah. is there like an ad on YouTube for hydrophones? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we keep on saying hydrophones. Your <laughs> Alexa's going to pick it up in the background. <laughs> Maybe it's the word of the day. Yeah, we, the ROV makes quite a lot of noise. We've had some discussions about the fact that some critters avoid that noise. So some people have, Jake, you were saying that, right? You put yeah. some on intentionally to look at the, or to yeah. listen to the. the they've sound. used, they've done a lot of, or not a lot, but they've done hydrophone studies and on Hercules, um, just looking at like the radiated noise, basically considering Hercules as like a single source of noise and seeing how like the sound radiates off of it. But there's also increasing interest in ocean soundscapes, you know, not just um, sounds that the animals make, but the anthropogenic sound that, that we yeah. put into the ocean and um, kind of like the eDNA that, that we sample to see what animals are around. It. Can you pan right to look at that stalked something? The yeah. soundscape might also be a way to kind of determine what's there without having to, you know, actually see everything. Wow. That's pretty Wow, it's just going and going. <laughs> that Is that a coral? That. Yeah. <laughs> Look so. at that sheet right there, Adam, wow. underneath the keyboard. <laughs> Is it going to stop? I don't know. Oh, it's, uh -oh. <laughs> it's really tall. Oh, man. Yeah. You see, get uh, close to see if there's yeah. any oh. polyps. This is, I can see. What is that? Closed polyps right now, so I don't know if we can get. All right, I gotta zoom in there, Dave. And I think we have interest in looking at where those two branches are coming okay. together. A bit. Oh my god, those are juicy polyps. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reminds me of a question we got last night. I'll share in a minute. <laughs> So, nice. can you go around it a little bit so we can get a better look at that yeah. junction? It does look like bamboo. And yeah, you can almost see a node right there, huh? I want to say it's internodal branching, but really hard to say. Yeah. Just because the proximity of that node is... Nice shot. Yeah, really good shot, guys. Yeah. Probably had to pick up pretty soon. All right. Nice shot. All right, that ship move is uh, complete. We're swinging another 30 meters. Um, where do we want to head? So here's our zoom out. I think from here you just want to aim for that uh, tight bend in the contour there. This right here? That we're talking about? I was thinking the next one uphill. Oh, yeah, sure. All right, so that's going to be 085 for a while. Roger that. Let me just... Uh, what is that? 0885. Bridge now. Uh, 100 meters, 085. Thank you.
Euplectolidae. It's hard to tell on that one. I'm supposed to look at the, how the stalk enters the top, but I don't know, I can see it. Get a quick look at it then. Oh yeah, I think it's a Russell die. Where is it? I lost it. Disappeared. <laughs> your yeah, tail there. Out. Yeah, yeah, watch. Oh. The transparent oh. potato clade. Whoa, Ooh, spaceship approaching. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Is that another Medusa? Something else. I don't know. Sako wants Whoa. dinner. Whoa. <laughs> Evasive maneuvers. See ya. It's been matching the looks flat. It's been matching the bathy pretty well. For a while on the sonar. Yeah, flat. Adam, a viewer wants to know if you've ever seen a sediment or sand waterfall. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't think I've ever seen a sand waterfall, but I have seen a inverted waterfall. I'm pretty sure Rennie has as well. What is an inverted waterfall? What? What does that mean? At a hydrothermal vent, uh, especially the type yeah. that build flanges, you can get the hot water is buoyant and oh. it comes up beneath the flange and then if you go to the edge it's, it sits there it's like going water's mm. going up that's cool it's like the mirrors uh. smoke and mirrors vent is one of the ones in uh <laughs> endeavor vent field you have to look up at it so we always talk about we should have the lights angled up but usually we're doing engineering work and that's auxiliary but if you were going down there to just look at those it'd be having some lights angled up Look at it. Yeah, so that when the flange starts, so the the vent fluid comes out, and once it cools and oxidizes, it precipitates minerals, and so now it's coming out against this uh, barrier, and it grows. And you guys can't see me. I'm gonna turn. <laughs> and it and it grows where the fluid just comes over the edge, so the flange keeps growing outward. Yeah. Are you sure it's not that? Okay. I'm. Uh, I'm envisioning. Looking at, uh, oh yeah, it's behind me too. Are both of those things <laughs> no, going out? No, no. This is web interaction. Oh okay, yeah. So I was doing. It. <laughs> yeah. Nautilus has visited a, uh, or Hercules, now, Hercules okay. has visited a mud volcano. There you go. I don't know if you've ever seen Adam. You that. Can, you're you're in you're live and in person. Right? All right. Yeah, Adam so, can back. Right. So we're talking <laughs> about those flanges, right? So the the vent grows up like this. Fluid comes out and starts to precipitate minerals, and it grows. It starts to build this table. The water connects, collects underneath it, and it wants to flow up. So it goes out and up around the flange, and where it goes around the flange, it just builds out and out. It can be quite a like a complex structure of that too. Like it sits in different pools. Yeah, that's all mirrory and shimmery and yeah. really interesting looking. 
It's like been a bam bamboo coral. We've been fortunate yeah, to yeah. have Dr. Ballard on the ship with us, and he's been talking about some of those early discoveries and the history of sea exploration. <gasps> oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Zoom in there, Dave. Can you kill the lasers for a minute? Yeah, sure. They're so color coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> you can see on the porch, you're backing up quite a bit. Yep. The other one looked, the polyps looked different on it. Yeah, that it? definitely was different. Oh, although they were. They were sucked in, but they were had a little pinkish shoe. They too. were like more domed too. Yeah. Like the whole thing seemed they were like kind more of swollen, like rounded. Yeah. I think hmm. uh, juicy was how you described <laughs> juicy. it. Juicy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the, yeah, the the, the stems, like the base of the polyps, it seemed to be able to close closer to the to the brand, um Yeah. To the skeleton. So this is a predation event. No. Uh, no, it just attaches to get up in the okay. water column to filter feed. But but it may not. It's not a benign yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. interaction. Yeah. Nice. You might want to keep yeah. moving on. Keep moving on. All right. Come on, Dave. Such a fun configuration for the enemy, though. Just bleh. <laughs> hanging down. Just hanging on. And that's a call to hang ten, right? In surfing lingo. And you put ten toes on the edge. Hanging tentacles. Mm. Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, can. <laughs> can. Oh, seven up. Got to date it. Get the viewers to date the can. Sit down quick. All right, we're looking at a modern mouth, perhaps. Want to zoom in there, Dave? Quick. Seven up. Uh, that's what I'm going for. Oh, it looks Hawaiian though. because of the ridges oh. there, right? Ridges, yeah, Hawaiian. See, mm. What is it? Got to get on that. Something with a D. The carbonated water is the first ingredient. We know that. <laughs> Someone can screen capture that, flip it upside down, and figure out. Viewers, tell us what we're looking at. Yeah. All right. Come back wide. Stay up. Back no calculate caffeine. based on the ingredients. <laughs> we can reverse engineer the soda. <laughs> <laughs> or just bottle up seawater and sell it. <laughs> yeah. I've got the first can. <laughs> right here. <laughs> I like all these little joy rides that the sea cucumbers have been taking in the sediment here. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'd be pretty joyous too if I was on <laughs> some of those rocky slopes and then hit, the you hit this and you're just like, jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feast. Well, I see these guys really going after it. Maybe it's actually that snail that's been like. Falling oh, yeah. <laughs> corkscrewing around. Corkscrew, yeah. It's like a Roomba for the deep sea. <laughs> Roomba. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like the sea cucumbers to the Roombas. Yeah. They are. <laughs> Biological Roombas. <laughs> sea dust. Viewers suggest maybe an Asian tea or coconut oh, water. Oh, oh Dumbo. Oh. We <laughs> did it. It's a pretty I big see. one. Yeah. Do you want to hey, get the lasers on for a second? See how big? Yeah, flash them for a second just so we can get over. There yeah. you go. So. Looks like. Big boy. Yeah. Nice. This is a great way to end the watch. Yeah. Can you check the Thurber cam on that? Roger. Yeah, you're going to back up a little bit for the No, I, th I think the video is more important. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, like, a photo is not going to be as good as a video. Oh my is that gosh. our thrusters <laughs> doing that to him? Yes. Yeah. Aww. It's like a massage. <laughs> 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 is this the first octopus of the expedition? Well, besides right. the one that just went by? We've seen some in the uh, Argus cam, but. Yeah, I don't know if other watches have seen. First one in her cam, seen. I think. First one I've ever seen on a watch. Mm. Hey, buddy. Yeah, zoom out, get the full <laughs> organism. Yeah, I'm going to tilt you down there, little Jake. Yeah, yeah. Full organism. That's a band name. Yeah. Full organism. You might be able to get it a bit tighter there now, Dave. Huh. Look at that. Hmm. Little. He's so cute. Cute. Oh. It's waving at us. I like how his legs kind of drooping down in the breeze there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can. He doesn't seem too bothered. No. no. Uh, I was floating along before, and now it's like, oh, hold on to something. We got. <laughs> nice. Really nice. Very Aww. cool. Yeah. All right, Jake, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Goodbye. Double awesome double. way to end the watch. Yeah. So how big was that little guy? Oh, he's going to fly. I Pretty think. big. Those lasers oh. were <laughs> taking off. Yeah, you we might be able to. Yeah, yeah, you should totally He wants that thruster. Right. Right. Oh, my you got some time. More you can always zoom ahead if we need to, okay. but we're okay for now. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> kind of floating along. Now we have oh, a new nice. answer. What's the most exciting thing you've seen on this expedition? <laughs> I know, rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You wish. <laughs> the so heart shaped get a rock. Bit closer, is it? Yeah. Very cool. So. Pelagic coral. <laughs> Very cool. All right, I think you gotta oh. catch up. Yep. Yeah. Right ahead of time. Very cool. Did you wear your lucky socks? Is that what's up here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not right now, but I did have them on earlier. Oh. Uh -huh. I've got my Christmas cat socks on. Hey, that's it. Maybe they're lucky. All right, Lisa's the lucky guy. For <laughs> I will never take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. You can take them off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, almost a knot. What's up? I almost had a knot. Yeah. <laughs> Pull on that. Booking it. Oh, it's like pressed to the back of my chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Warp speed. All right. Caught up. I think it's pretty flat. We'll just call another one as, as the next watch is coming on. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what that was. 085? 085, yeah. I'll see it. We're a little bit north of that now. So. Yeah, it's still fine. It's a new one we yeah, haven't we seen. Yeah. Interesting that it's in the sediment too. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. Must have found something that got along too. Yeah, Annie, would you mind scrolling over on the DVL screen? 
can do. Thanks. Wanna zoom in on this guy, Dave? Hmm. 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 <laughs> don't, don't know what it's stuck to. <laughs> uh, one single nodule. Yes. <laughs> it's not the texture I expected. Oh, Ooh. that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Can you pan up to the top bit? Hmm. Huh. 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 It makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't even know what to do with this guy. Yeah. Oh. I'll log it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, I don't know what else to <laughs> Cordate? <laughs> and Rennie. Pretty sure it's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Can we zoom in on its uh, base as well? Sure. Yeah. We got time. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, nope. Was it just a quick huh again there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, no help hmm. there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep, log it. <laughs> I'm yeah. good. You guys are in. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, please. <laughs> I've been good. Yeah, we can just. <laughs> <laughs> there's a sponge specialist somewhere. I know. Just out. like there's one on this ship who was, if she was here in like 11 seconds, she yeah. would have told us everything about that thing. Yeah. We've never seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like after every watch, I'm like, guys, we saw a brand new species. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, we saw, we've seen like six million of those. Yeah. <laughs> no, not yet. Is that another one of those black ones? That Purple. looks like a big holotarian, yeah. Yeah. 20, really dark, dark. I gotta catch up, though. Our fairy bread loving friend just tuned in and asked if we have a front runner for a critter of the dive. I think we do. Uh, <laughs> think Did you miss it? I'm going to go with the uh, sponge we just Is, is, <laughs> is there a rewind? <laughs> yeah. Commonly known as the huh sponge. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all about the Dumbo octopus. I hope yeah, you got to see the Dumbo, Dumbo octopus, Misty. If yes. not, rewind the rewind <laughs> the video on the website. You can go back. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, not uh, it's fifteen minutes. Yeah, it was not even. It was at eleven forty-two our time. Dave, didn't you say Dumbo octopus is your favorite? No? Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's what Doctor Ballard says too. There we go. You're very. If you, I think because we call it a Dumbo octopus and because the character Dumbo exists, you can make sense of it. But if you just don't, if you take that away and you just look at this thing, <laughs> like that's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> they go into like the weirdest shapes. Yeah, so you know what an octopus is, right? Yeah, this is kind of a chunky octopus with shorter legs. And then it's got yeah. wings on its head. Yeah. No, no you're just yeah, ch it's you're making this stuff up. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, but when you're like, oh, they're like elephant ears. Okay. Oh, sure, we can. <laughs> sure. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> now, do all octopuses have those things, but they're really tiny or something? I don't oh. know. No. I don't know. I don't think no, like uh, Pacific octopus are, are very smooth. Yeah, uh, on I the, don't think. On the top and just ha and have much longer legs. I think that one was uh, Grimpatuthis, if I re remember correctly. Grimpatuthis. Ooh, that a boy. Grimpatuthis. Oh, Someone's been reading some Dr. Seuss. 